Hello everyone, that's a continuation of the last video which I talked about how you order OTs in MATLAB and now we're going to have another example this one here so f let's call x our independent variable uh, y2 y3 y4 and finally tam times y3 minus 9 times y1 oh i almost forgot it's y in caps here okay so let's say our results are gonna be OD 45 of f let's define x goes from 0 to 10 and they need to show conditions are these over here okay let's plot only y not y prime or y prime prime just y Okay, that's it. Our solution, and I hope everything's correct here. Yeah, seems okay. So let's try the other way without making all this here. Can always say F O D to vector field vector field diff y4 equals to 10 times diff y2 minus 9 times y and f is matlab function let's call matlab function if vars going to be x y y in caps and now let's run the code oh yeah i forgot sims y vax Okay, great. That's our result, the same result as before. So we have used the second method I have showed in the last video. In our next example, we have this third order ODE and the initial conditions. It does not represent a mechanical system, not that I know. I just found this. The first step, if we use the, the first method, is to define y caps 1 is equal to y, y caps 2 is equal to y prime, and y caps 3 is equal to y prime prime. Okay, now we take the derivative of this. And that's what we got. Y in caps 1 prime is equal to Y prime. That is equal to Y caps 2. And we do this for the Y caps 2 and Y caps 3. Okay, now let's apply it to MATLAB. So that's the code. And now I'm being very economic. I have defined the time span already here inside as well as the initial conditions. Okay, let's plot the result and that's what we've got. Okay, so now let's write the other method sims yx, let's say the 
independent variable is x, f is equal to od to vector field of div y3 equals to minus 4 times div y2 plus 5 times div y1. Okay, don't don't forget to use two signs of equal here. And now let's make a MATLAB function out of f. MATLAB function f with variables x and this is not simply y but y in caps because the output of this is going to be y in caps okay since everything's correct now let's run of course okay that's the same solution we we've got for so that's it thanks for watching and subscribe